Hi everyone. So today's topic is surfaces of revolution. So what are the surfaces of revolution? These surfaces are a collection of curves arranged in a specific manner, which are rotated about a specific axis. <clears throat> revolution of a curve means rotating its every point about the axis, taking it as taking the axis as the center. For ease, I take them as the x, y, and z axis. So how do we represent these surfaces? We represent them with the help of mathematical equations. We can write these equations in three forms, which are the cuboidal, cylindrical, and the spherical coordinates. So let's start and try to write a few the few of them. So, topic's name is surfaces of revolution. So. I will take a few examples. I have the x, y, and the z axis. X, y, z, x, y, z. Now, the first example which I take is a sphere. which is formed after rotating a circle about any of the given axis. I have a paraboloid formed by rotating a parabola about the y axis or the x axis. I'll correct this, it's y and this is it. So I have the third example is an ellipsoid formed after rotating an ellipse about the x or the y axis. Now our task is to find the equation of the surfaces of revolution which are formed after rotating the given curves about the y or the x axis. So let us take a case which is a curve. Let's say it's y is equal to fx. So this is a fx x and y. I rotate it about y axis. So it will be this the surface of revolution. I rotate it about the x axis. So the surface will be somewhat. like this so what the what are the equations of these surfaces which are formed after the revolution so i'll write the formulas and then give the explanation so the formula for the rotation about y axis is y is equal to f of root of x square plus z square and for the x axis is this is about the y axis and for the x axis is f of x is equal to root of y square plus z square or the z axis about sorry x axis now let's see the explanations behind these equations so I have a curve y is equal to fx which has been rotated through say y axis first. So basically at <clears throat> each of these curves every point is rotating about a circle which is centered at this axis. So the curve the surface which is formed which will be this so let's try to find this equation basically this curve is taking its image in every plane which is which has been hinged at y so basically these are the family of curves or the family of planes 
which are which are rotating about the y axis or which have a general line in common which is the y axis so i'll try to show this plane uh, it is somewhat like this plane which has been hinged at the y axis and we have a curve over this plane which is rotating about this y axis so for every single point say i draw this vector here say it say it is pointing towards x axis here which is x naught comma zero point and the height uh, and if i put this point in the fx it gives the height y or at every plane the this point can be this vector which is contained in this plane which is pointing towards x comma zero comma z and the magnitude of this vector gives the height y so basically height y is f of root of x square plus z square here x square plus z square is the mod of say it vector v so basically f vector v is x i cap plus j cap plus z k cap so uh, the mod of v is uh, root of x square plus z square so y is this so let's see for x so i have a curve fx so let's take this for x axis if i rotate it about the x axis uh, the surface which is formed will be like this so let's see the explanation behind the equation of this surface so i have a height y basically the height y for this curve is let's say this is the x y plane i have a height y i have a y y vector which is pointing towards y axis and here its coordinates is let's say 0 comma 0 comma y as the curve rotates about the x axis now let's say it is rotating about the x axis every point it also rotating so basically the height y is <clears throat> being changed at each point as the y changes so at every point this vector is also rotating so in each rotating plane this ve vector will point towards say it 0 comma y comma z and the mod of this vector if we put in the function the inverse of the given function it will give the point x so basically here if this is the x and say this is the point f of inverse of y so basically in the in x y plane where z is 0 x equal to f inverse y for this plane or for a general plane i have for general plane i have x equal to f inverse of f inverse of the mod of this vector so let's say this vector is y j cap plus z k cap so mod of this vector will be root of y square plus z square this is mod v so f inverse of mod v which is root of y square plus z square so this is the equation for rotating each curve about the x axis so these were the locus of the points for each curve or the locus of these curves 
<clears throat> for each point which are being rotated about the given axis. So let's take some examples for easy understanding. So I take an example which is I take a paraboloid which has been formed by rotating parabola about the y axis. So I have this parabola in the xy plane. And see, uh, this is being rotated about the y axis. So this is a paraboloid. Uh, let's say the equation of this parabola in the xy plane is y is equal to x square so fx here is x square so let's find the equation of the surface as it is rotated about y axis the equation of the surface is y is f of root of x square plus z square so basically it is y is equal to f of root of x square plus z square whole square which is y is equal to sorry uh, root of x square plus z square whole square which is x square plus z square so this is the equation of this parabola as it can be seen that on putting z equal to 0 which is the xy plane or cutting the cross section of this parabola with the xy plane <clears throat> the equation we get is for the parabola which is y is equal to x square so let's take example 2 2 which is rotating a circle say this is the circle x and the about the x axis so basically it will be a sphere let's say the equation of this circle is x minus 1 the whole square plus y square is equal to 1 so basically the circle has the center at 1 comma 0 comma 0 and a radius is equal to 1 so as this circle is rotated about the x-axis the equation here we know that f of x is plus minus root of 1 minus x minus 1 x minus 1 the whole square so f of inverse which is x that the equation for this surface which has been rotated about the x-axis so the equation is x equal to f inverse of root of y square plus z square which is which can also be written in the form f of x is equal to root of y square plus z square fx taking from the equation 1 plus minus root of 1 minus x minus 1 the whole square this is equal to root of y square plus z square as the root of y square plus z square will always be positive so we neglect the negative part that is the lower half of the circle which is a semicircle so basically if i do the square if i square the both sides i have the equation as x minus 1 whole square is equal to y square plus z square hence the equation of the surface is x minus 1 whole square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1 which we already know is true for this sphere centered at 1 comma 0 comma 0 so that was all from the surfaces of revolution thanks